Hi, this is Jeremy. And this is Becky. We're kind of epic. And today we are looking at the Bellows demo. Uh, this is demo for an upcoming game called The Bellows. Uh, that's supposed to be a horror game. Uh, and this, I don't, as far as I know, this doesn't probably follow the story or whatever. It's just a little demo to show kind of what they're going for. Mm -hmm. I think so. It's um, coming out soon supposed to be october uh which is now uh while we're recording this but uh we still have still have a little bit of time left <laughs> for them to get it out to make that deadline yeah so uh, it's a it's very much like you're in a I, i'm pretty sure it's going to be a haunted story and it's kind of like a haunted house ish yeah um, type game it has um some different options for moving around um which you can see on the wall there there's the yeah. Trackpad, uh, walkabout, and trigger, uh, or arm swinger, I think is what they call it. Uh, so the default one, you push the button, the, the trackpad down, and you start moving forward, <laughs> which, as we've said in past videos, both makes both of us kind of nauseous. <laughs> uh, the second one is actually really interesting. You use your um, uh, room, room scale space to walk around, and when you walk to the end of your space, you hold down the button and it turns the whole room around you. So then you're facing the other way. So you can, or so you're facing the same way, but you you walk the other direction physically. Yeah. So you have makes, to. It's hard so to. So you explain. get to the end of the room. You press a button. You turn around. And it keeps the room, it actually keeps the, the hallway right. the, it same, keeps the same, but you've turned around, so now you can walk. So you end up walking back and forth a lot. That's how I played this because it was a little easier for me. Mm -hmm. um, Jeremy chose the locomotion mostly because it's easier to record. We had recorded me playing, and the way it looks when you're watching it is everything goes fuzzy right. for a second. And it was really uncomfortable to watch. We thought it would be uncomfortable to watch for, for viewers. Right. So, um, so Jeremy is, did this It's probably way. the most comfortable to play. Yeah. I mean, this didn't bother me. Um, I did get a little... I, I got a little uh, discombobulated. It's not disoriented. The right yeah, disoriented. Right. Um, a couple times, like, did I? Where did I am turn I? The right I way? don't. Yeah. Because yeah, it's it gets really dark in here, mm -hmm. and so and you're in this long hallway, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, so you you kind of lose which direction you're going. Well, you're in the hallway now. It's just, yeah, yeah. It just, gets longer. <laughs> yeah, longer and darker. Um, leave that one there. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's just it's pretty interesting. Uh, at least the demo that that we're playing here. Um, there's kind of three little windows uh, you end up walking up to. Um, that have different different scenes. scenes yeah, mm -hmm. and it. Uh, kind of explaining a little story i guess yeah i get the impression I, that it's it's a story about like an accident and and the aftermath and stuff yeah of it but it's not super it's not super clear it is really creepy the music the sounds it's got your the breathing noises yeah, breathing. um it's got uh just the ambiance is just ridiculously scary and they did a really 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 good job of that see right now we're in the really dark part you can't see anything and you're hearing stuff and you're like what is going on I'm yeah. st am i stuck <laughs> and then you're not stuck and then you're <laughs> nope <laughs> yeah um this and i know we've said this in in previous uh recordings uh but this actually really kind of gave me a, a very silent hill feeling because mm -hmm. you're in silent hill going down a lot of corridors and trying doors to get into rooms and they're locked and it just for some reason gave me that feeling and you know well it's because silent hill is the epitome of scary games yeah and I guess so, so it's That's true it, so when you get a really good scary game especially for us because you well i'm a huge silent hill fan um it's <laughs> it, it it evokes that feeling and then, mm -hmm. oh, Silent Hill, because it's scary and it's awesome. But <laughs> it is really scary. And it does do mm. a really good job of, of making you feel actual fear. I mean, Jeremy curled himself up for a minute <laughs> there. And he doesn't, he doesn't scare easy. Yeah. There's something about, in this demo specifically, they, they, there's a lot of things that kind of come at you. 
and there's just that that sense your body you know then invasion of space mm-hmm. personal space that is really dis disorient uh, not disorienting discomforting mm-hmm. um, yeah discomforting you get that tingly something's gonna hit me oh my god feeling yeah that, that fight or flight it yeah kind of really invokes that um they did a really good job of that and and the sound is really good too here mm-hmm. um you know, there's a lot of neat sound effects that happen as you're going through. Um, pretty well timed, I think. And yeah, yeah, I'm really, really excited for this game. I can't play. F- I can't wait to play the real one right. when it comes out, um, which you know should be hopefully soon if they follow the timeline they've been saying. Um, mm-hmm. But this is a small development company right so oh yeah really small it's i mean they use a gmail address so oh yeah (laughs) it's probably one person doing it maybe a couple but (laughs) very small team i'm guessing and it's it's very well done for probably the limited resources they have yeah it's really really well done for for i i'm just it's so exciting all of these small developers that are coming out right now with Mm -hmm. all these vr games and we're getting to see so much of what goes on in people's brains <laughs> and, and it's just really really cool mm-hmm. so. yeah seeing a lot of a lot of experimentation mm-hmm. on what works what doesn't work like we're you know saying with the three different movement styles so kudos to them for, for giving you options giving the options yeah mm-hmm. for sure um, because it's you know it's a big space that you're going through and i think they adapted it pretty well for for that yeah because teleporting would have worked there's a part where you're 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 basically trapped and this thing's coming at you and if you were able to teleport you might be able to try and get away and and they obviously don't want you to Mm -hmm. so teleporting would not have worked in this and and so giving people different options for the way to move was a really good way to go yeah this is what (laughs) i was talking about where they got somebody coming at you and then Ah! (laughs) yeah Terrifying. Yeah, I was yeah. shaking was like, my ass. No, like, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and this was the second time I went through this. I knew what was gonna what was gonna happen, and I'm still <laughs> was kind of terrified by it. <laughs> it's just that invasion of space that I said. It's the same. You know, it just it just makes you feel really uncomfortable. Yeah, and they use really simple things like that. Was just kind of like just vague the, shapes yeah. and red eyeballs, and it was scary as hell. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a it's a really interesting experience. I can't wait. I really can't wait. I I will pay whatever they want to charge for this <laughs> Shut thing. Shut up and take my money. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how I feel, feel about this one. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I think overall we you know really enjoyed this little little experience. It's a free demo. Um, you know, definitely check it out if you've got the vibe. Go do it. Uh, it's worth just going through and and scaring yourself a little bit. And if you don't have the vibe and you're watching this, cook at your vibe. You want one? We can tell. <laughs> yes. It is worth worth the cost. For sure. And this is, yeah, this is the I'm trapped. This thing is coming after me. What do I do? Oh God. <gasps> and when I was doing it, I was doing the one where you have to turn the room. Yeah. And I just co- totally panicked. I, I threw my headset off. <laughs> Jeremy went through the whole thing, but I threw my headset off. Yeah, it was, it was, that was really, really terrifying yeah. at that point. Um, have you tried the bellows? What do you think? If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, hit the dislike button and let us know why in the comments. Also, let us know if there is a vibe title you would like to see us review in the comments. And we will see you on the next one. Bye!